We're just a few days away from the upcoming AMD Radeon RX 6000 launch, and if the information that has come out so far proves to be true, AMD could be looking to shake up the GPU market, much like it has with their Ryzen CPUs with their upcoming RDNA 2 architecture. And now what does this mean for gamers who are looking to upgrade to the latest and greatest now and in the future? Let's talk about it. But if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn more about building PCs and other gaming related stuff, click the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss a thing. What's happening YouTube and the internet? Terrence here, we are back inside the lab. We're talking about the upcoming RX 6000 launch that AMD is set to reveal this Wednesday, October 28th. And now we did get a little preview at the end of the Zen 3 reveal uh, a couple weeks back where we saw presumably the 6900 XT running a benchmark at 4K. And quickly going over the specs, starting with the Radeon 6900 XT, which is set to have the Navi 21 XTX GPU, AKA Big Navi, but it's set to have 80 compute units or 5,120 stream processors. It's gonna run at a frequency of 2,040 megahertz. That's the, that's the game clock speed. And then 2,330 megahertz at the boost clock frequency with 16 gigabytes of VRAM on a 256 bit bus and a bandwidth of 512 gigabytes per second. Now, I am a fan of what Dr. Lisa Su or AMD has shown us that the cooler design is going to have this flagship red and black design, a triple axial fan setup with a large aluminum heat sink that sets to, or that's set to run beneath the card, similar to the RTX 2080 series Founders Edition coolers, featured two 8-pin power connectors, one USB Type-C port, one HDMI, and two display ports, along with a fancy backplate with a retention bracket to keep the cooler in place because this is a two-slot reference design similar to the RTX 3080, but not the RTX 3090's three-slot configuration. And now for the 6800 XT, I do believe that we are going to see two different variants, one with the Navi 21 XT GPU and the Navi, and the second one with the Navi 21 XL GPU with the 6800 XT with the Navi 21 GPU, XT GPU, it's going to have 72 computational units or 4,608 stream processors. And then the cut down version of that, the 6800, will have 64 CUs or 4,906 stream processors, but both will have the same 16 gigabyte VRAM buffer, but will feature different clock speeds of around 18, 15, 1,815 megahertz and a boost clock frequency of 2,105 megahertz. The 6800 XT series is going to be one of the most sought after graphics cards, in my opinion, in the entire product stack. If you think about you know AMD's pricing how they've done it you know how they how they've priced their graphics cards in the past where you have generally the the 90 and the 80 series where they're higher end cards and the lower end cards are like your 70 and 60 series cards but somewhere in the middle I think the 50 the 6800 XT is going to be a 1080p high refresh rate card or a solid 1440p card that's going to be able to drive refresh rates over you know 100 to 144 hertz and then there's the radeon rx 6700 that's set to come with the navi 22 gpu or the 6700 xt which is going to have the full navi 22 xt gpu which is going to have 40 compute units or 2560 stream processors and then the cut down configuration or the 6700 is going to have the 22 XT uh, Navi GPU, but both is set to feature 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM on a 192 bit bus and a net bandwidth of 384 gigabytes per second. You also have to come to appreciate the dual axial um, fan configuration AMD has went with the GPU or the cooler that's likely set to house the lower end Navi GPUs like the 6700 and the 6700 XT. The cooler features the same LED lit Radeon logo and a large cutout to vent out the heat from the aluminum heat sink. Two eight pin connectors, but we may see eight plus six configurations for more power optimized variants. 
This cooler should house the Navi 22 GPUs as it's slightly smaller but still larger than the Navi 10 RDNA 1 GPUs aka the RX 5700 series. And then there's the unknown variable, right? And that is how will these graphics cards be priced? Because everything has leaked out from performance to specifications, but the pricing. But here's my prediction. The way I see it is we could see the 6900 XT at a price point of between $500 to $600 to make it competitively priced to an RTX 3080, and then the 6800 XT and XL with the XT variant coming at it coming in between $300 to $400 and a 6800 XL at about $200 to $300 to compete with the RTX 3070 and the upcoming possible 3070 Ti or 3060 and we're going to talk about that a little bit more down this vlog and then the 6700 series with the 6700 XT at somewhere between $200, 200 to 229 or 249 and then the 6700 under $200, which would be faster than anything NVIDIA has to offer right now at this price point. This could prompt NVIDIA to reveal their presumably missing lower end cards like the 3050 and the 3060 and even maybe possibly the 3070 Ti, which all could be similarly priced to the 6000 series just to come in and steal AMD's thunder because NVIDIA is set to reveal the RTX 3070 a day after AMD is set to reveal the RX 6000 series or this Thursday. And then of course, no leak would be complete if we didn't get performance metrics along with the specifications. And if you take a look here at the 3D Mark benchmarks that came out, which had the 6900 XT pitted up against the RTX 3080, which is a $700 graphics card, if you can find it at MSRP, but it had the RTX 3080 and the RTX 2080 Ti, which both lost out to most of the benchmarks and tests to the 6900 XT. It was also noticeably faster than an RTX 2080 Ti, at least in these 3D Mark benchmarks. And now what does this mean for the used market and for gamers who may be looking to upgrade from their RTX 2080 or their RTX 2080 Ti? If supply is unable to meet the demand and availability is still scarce, then I doubt we'll see an immediate price drop. NVIDIA could possibly respond with their GA102 RTX 30 series graphics card with 7,424 CUDA cores on a 320-bit bus, but NVIDIA allegedly canceled graphics cards that never came out, so this is the world we're living in. You can take those with a grain of salt, or you can take those leaks and rumors with a grain of salt, but with a limited supply of memory, RTX 3080 20 gigabyte and RTX 3070 16 gigabyte variants still could come or are still likely to come just in the form of a refresh with a super series. And for more awesome PC gaming content, watch the top playlist first and the bottom one next. Consider joining our community by tapping the round subscribe icon down there below. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thanks for giving this one a watch. I hope to catch you on the next one. So until then, be easy.